The principle of least privilege, also known as access control principle or the principle of least authority, is a cybersecurity approach and one of the core concepts of zero trust security that has become increasingly popular over the last few years. For many companies, it is now simply the default setting for effective modern security. Implementing the principle of least privilege ensures that individuals receive limited access rights to network systems and applications. By restricting user privileges to the minimum required for their tasks, the risk of accidents, errors, or unauthorized activities is greatly reduced. Consider this. Should your marketing managers have access to the software development environment? Absolutely not. Similarly, should your software developers access financial information? No. By following the principle of least privilege, each user group is given only the permissions needed for their essential job functions. By preventing users from installing unauthorized applications, the principle of least privilege limits the ability of malware to spread. In addition, it restricts lateral network movement, confining malware to the entry point and preventing it from launching attacks against other connected devices. By protecting super user and administrator privileges, the principle of least privilege diminishes the entry points a malicious actors can use to access sensitive data Data or carry out sophisticated attacks. Restricting access to sensitive information reduces the likelihood of unauthorized data exposure or leaks. If an account is compromised, the damage is limited to the minimum permissions assigned to that account, preventing widespread access. Limiting privileges help prevent accidental changes or deletions of critical system files and data by users who do not need such access. With fewer permissions granted, it is easier to track and audit user activities, enhancing accountability and oversight. The principle of least privilege helps meet regulatory requirements and internal policies by restricting privileged account access, providing a full audit trail of activities for compliance verification. By granting only needed access, system performance and management can be optimized, avoiding unnecessary complexity. If you want to implement the least privilege in your IT environment, here are some best practices to get you on the right track. Conduct a comprehensive audit to identify all privileged accounts, including passwords, SSH keys, password hashes, and access keys. This audit should cover on-premises systems, cloud environments, DevOps, setups, and endpoints. Eliminate any local admin privileges that are not essential. Ensure both human and non-human users only have the minimum privileges necessary to perform their tasks. Distinguish between administrator accounts and standard user accounts. Isolate privileged user sessions to enhance security. Store the credentials of privileged administrator accounts in a digital vault. This step is crucial for securing and managing these accounts. Implement a policy to rotate all administrator passwords immediately after each use. This practice helps invalidate any credentials that might have been captured by malicious software and mitigates the risk of attacks like pass the hash. Constantly monitor activities related to administrator accounts. Set up systems to detect and alert on any suspicious behavior which could indicate an ongoing cyber attack. Implement just-in-time access elevation, allowing users to access privileged accounts or run privileged commands only temporarily and on an as-needed basis. Regularly review all cloud identity and access management permissions and entitlements across US, Azure, and GCP environments. Remove any excessive permissions to ensure cloud workloads have only the necessary access. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, I invite you you to like it, share it with your connections, and subscribe to Heimdall's YouTube channel for more.